This used to be a blue beech tree. Right next to it's the same blue beech or mussel wood. Um, but as you can see, just like with birch, the, the wood itself rots faster than the bark. So actually, like this is the old wood. It's down to a quarter of the size it was, and it's left all this extra bark left over. So the blue beech bark will work similar to birch bark in the fact that it has oils in it, uh, and it will take a strike from a fire steel. So to be able to find even one piece this big is, is, a, is a great find in the hardwoods, but I got this whole big tree full of it. All right, I've decided to post up underneath this big tree. I th it's either a maple or an oak, probably an oak. But, uh, there's, oh, I can check out the leaves on the ground and see. Yeah, I believe it's a red oak. But anyways, here it's like uh, the ground is up higher, <clears throat> probably because of the roots of the tree. But I'm gonna hang out here for a while and maybe make the fire and whatnot. <clears throat> Here's my gear for the day. Got it in my Maxpedition Condor. Got my tripod for my camera there on the right and uh, Trailhawk a water bottle on the left. It's a good little pack. So uh, obviously first off, I'm about to make a fire. Like all you guys know, you gotta clear the spots off. Uh, take out the debris and leaves and whatnot. The ground's really wet right now, so what I want is a platform. And I know you guys already know this, and just telling you anyway. Uh, I like to use ash bark if I can find it, big thick ash bark. If not, I'll use like a, a layer of sticks that I just break and put on the ground. So another couple pieces of kit that I carry is uh, one of these blue foam pads to kneel on to sit on. Especially right now, the ground's soaking wet, so it really comes in handy. Um, so I have that, and also a bandana catch my shavings in. The other side of the uh, log there where I'm working. So that's kind of what I'm looking for there. Lots of curls, lots of air in between. Some of these bigger ones aren't so great, but you get the gist. So I stored that uh, blue beach bark in my pocket. Got a little banged up, but that's all right. It'll still work. Actually need to shred some up first to make it a little bit smaller so that the fire still have, will accept it easier. Lovely sirens in the background. Looking for good audio. There it goes. I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but it's sizzling and it's got black smoke coming off of it. So, like I said, in the hardwoods environment, that's about. This and oak bark, uh, pin oak bark, is the boat. The best you're going to come to uh, having something like birch bark. And it's definitely not even necessary. It's just fun to play around with once in a while. So that's still just the bark burning. That's an established fire from just bark, which is pretty cool. I think so, at least. So you don't hear about that as much, Even you don't even hear anything about Blue Beach. One thing I do know about Blue Beach is you're not supposed to cook with the wood, uh, like burning the wood and, and, and use it for, for cooking fire. I guess it's got some kind of toxins in it, you don't really want to use it. But I'm going to cook on this and that's just the bark that will be long burned up by the time I cook on it.
So I don't know, for anybody who doesn't know what I'm doing, I'm just marking an X with my knife. I'm batoning it out. I'm only hitting it a couple times because this is soft wood. I don't want to go all the way through it. <clears throat> and then I'm carving everything out except for the top uh, beak almost. And that <clears throat> gives me a good little hook. And then I'm going to later rest on um, the support stick. So I got this grate back um, maybe about a month ago, and I've used it about five, six times now. It's one of the most useful pieces of kit I have, and the best part about it was my, a couple of my buddies made it for me, so uh, thanks a lot, guys. What I'm doing is cooking my bacon. I've seen people hang it over the fire on a stick and stuff, and I think that's really cool, but I, <laughs> I tried to do it one time, and it did not work out for me at all. I think it takes a... Uh, Takes a little bit of patience, and I don't have that too much when it comes to food. There she goes.